ever been curious on how the easiest way to repair IMU sensor issues on next-gen excavators? I'm going to go ahead and show you. Well, first things first, power down the machine. Install you two 12-pin amp seal plugs. Okay, so once you've got it all disconnected, you're going to go through the monitor. You're going to go ahead and disable the following. Grade control, assist, e-fencing, and payload. You disable those four things, guess what? No more IMU sensor issues. Now, the only reason I make this is to simply say that if you have a customer like the one I'm currently working with right now who happens to like to play with the trees and, well, they pretty much botch the harness every time they go through there knocking this, that, and the third off and they're just moving dirt and they have no need for it. But don't do this for every customer because somebody will eventually down the line need grade control. But in all honesty, if you're really looking for a repair, I'm gonna tell you about 95% of the IMU issues you're gonna have on next-gen excavators are the following. It will be more than likely in this boom foot harness, regardless if it's an open service letter or not. The larger machines always seem to break at the same point, right where the, the basically the boom meets the house. But from time to time, you will still have issues with bad sensors or one of the other harnesses. There's two additional harnesses aside from the one down here at the boom foot. But nine times out of 10, I run into more issues with the boom foot harness. So hopefully you guys find this informative. Have a great day. And again, a lot of this is just a joke. Don't take it damn serious.